Hello to all grade 11 math wizards. This is Senior Pablo and welcome in our channel. Today we're going to compare the different relationship between evaluating functions, operations on function, and composition of functions. So in our evaluating functions, if we have the given f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 5x plus 1 and g of x is equal to 3x minus 4. And your task is find g of 2. Okay, g of 2. So since we have g of x, then we're going to use the expression for g of x for our function in g of x and that is that is 3x minus 4 just copy next g of 2 that means our value for x is 2 so let us substitute so we have 3 times 2 minus 4. The next step, simplify. 3 times 2, that will give you 6 minus 4. And 6 minus 4, that is 2. Okay. That will be the value of g of 2, which is 2. Next, what if your teacher asks you to find f of 1? So f of 1, so we have f of x, just copy the given function, which is 2x squared plus 5x plus 1. Then after copying, just substitute. So we have... 2 times 1 square plus 5 times 1 plus 1. Change the value of x to 1. Then simplify. So we have 2 times 1 square, that is 1. Because 1 square is 1 times 1. Next, plus... 5 times 1, that is 5, then copy plus 1. 2 times 1, that is 2, plus 5 plus 1. And 2 plus 5 plus 1, that is 8. Okay, that is the evaluating functions. Now let us relate in our Next topic, which is operations on function. In our operation on functions, we have f plus g of x, and that is equal to f of x plus g of x. Let's say your teacher asks you, find f plus g of x. So the equivalent of our f plus g of x is f of x plus g of x. So just substitute the given. Let's say our given is this one. The same given. So find f of x, that is 2x squared plus 5x plus 1. And g of x, g of x is 3x minus 4. Now, combine like terms. So we have 2x squared plus 5x plus 3x, that is 8x. Then, just copy minus 8. So this will be the value of quantity f plus g of x. Now, what is the, what if the question is, find f plus g 
of negative of 2. Okay. We're going to find quantity f plus g of negative 2. We know that this is equal to f of negative 2 plus g of negative 2. That means we're going to find first f of negative 2. Then after finding the value of f of negative 2, add to g of negative 2. So we're going to connect in our previous lesson, which is the evaluating functions. So let us find f of negative 2. That is our first step. So f of negative 2. So copy our function, which is 2x squared plus 5x plus 1. Then substitute x. So we have 2 times negative 2 squared plus 5 times negative 2 plus 1. Now let us simplify to quantity negative 2 squared. That is negative 2 times negative 2, which is positive 4. Plus 5 times negative 2, that is negative 10. So let us change the plus sign here to negative 10. Again, let us repeat, positive 5 times negative 2, negative 10. Then copy, plus 1. Next, 2 times 4, that is 8, minus 10, plus 1. And 8 minus 10, that is negative 2, then copy, positive 1. Negative 2 plus 1, that is negative 1. So the value of f of negative 2 is negative 1. After finding f of negative 2, let us find g of negative 2. So g of negative 2, so g of x is 3x minus 4. So copy 3, then substitute the value of x, which is negative 2. So negative 2 minus 4. 3 times negative 2, this is negative 6. Copy minus 4. Negative 6 minus 4, this is negative 10. Okay, our next step is to evaluate f of negative 2, that is negative 1, plus g of negative 2, which is negative 10. Negative 1 plus negative 10, this is negative 11. Therefore, f plus g of negative 2 is equal to negative 11. Okay. See the relationship? The operations and function is connected to our evaluating functions. So you need to master first the evaluating functions before you further understand the operations and function. Now, let us see let us find out what is the connection of these two topics to our composition of functions. F composed of G of X. That is denoted by F of G of X. Again, let us use our example. F of X is equal to 2X squared plus 5X plus 1. And G of X is equal to 3X minus 4. So, g of x, let us find first g of x. 
So f of our g of x, g of s, the substitute, that is 3x minus 4. Okay. Then after finding, this will be the result. f of 3x minus 4. That means in our function f of x, we're going to change the value of x to 3x minus 4. So, 2 times change x to 3x minus 4. 3x minus 4. Okay, this is a critical content because we have a square. Square. Plus 5 times our x is 3x minus 4. Copy plus 1. Now simplify. 2 times the square of a binomial. If you want to recall the square of a binomial, please, please proceed to uh, grade 8, lesson 1, special products. 3x squared, this is 9x squared. Multiply the first term and the second term. 3x times negative 4, negative 12x times 2, negative 24x. Then you square the last term, plus 16. Plus, distribute. 5 times 3x, this is 15x. 5 times negative 4, negative 20. And copy plus 1. Distribute 2. So this will become 2 times 9, 18x squared. 2 times negative 24, negative 48x. 2 times 16, positive 32. So after doing the process, copy plus 15x minus 20 plus 1. Just copy our uh, remaining terms. Then combine like terms. So 18x squared. Now we have negative 48x plus 15x. That is negative 33 33x, right? So for negative 48 plus 15, negative 33. Subtract and copy the sign of the bigger absolute value number. And 32 minus 20, positive 12. Plus 1, so 13. So this is 13. This will be the value of our f composed of g of x. What if your teacher asks you to find f composed of g, f composed of g of One. Okay. F composed of G of one. Instead of X, we have a value of one. Okay, let's try since we have one. Okay, let's try, let's try three. Okay. F composed of G of three. Okay, F composed of G. Of three. That is equal to f of g of three. Okay. So we have f of g of x. Oh, this is three. G of three. So let us substitute three to our x in g of x. In our g of x. 3 times our value of x is 3 minus 4. 
Now we have f of 3 times 3, which is 9, minus 4. We now have f of positive 5. Okay. So f of 5. After getting f of 5, we now going back to evaluating functions. So from f of 5, so we have... 2 times our x is 5. x. So since that is x, change to 5. Squared. 2 x squared plus 5 times our x is 5 plus 1. Simplify 2 times 5 squared, 25. Plus 5 times 5, 25 plus 1. 2 times 25, this is 50, plus 25 plus 1. 50 plus 25, that is 75 plus 1, 76. Therefore, the value of f composed of g of x, of f composed of g of 3, is equal to 76. So that is the relationship or the connection of evaluating functions, operations of function, and composition of functions. Again, general mathematics is about the relationship of all the functions in mathematics. Once again, thank you for watching Senior Problem TV and I hope you enjoyed this video and please share this, please share this video to your classmates.